In this episode of Highlight Sundays, you guys really enjoyed the accelerated pacing of my video two weeks back, so let's do that again. Hello and welcome back to Highlight Sundays. It is the 29th week of 2012 and here are your highlights. First, here's a little educational piece for you. It is called Digital Audio Basics and is released by Engadget. It contains quite a bit of technical detail as well as going into quite deep history with regards to audio, how far we've come and what digital audio means today. So if you're interested in the ins and outs of audio, I do encourage you to check this out. All these are concepts that will make you understand your music better. As always, the link is in the video description. And here's a fun one. This one is called Unbreakable Crypto. To authenticate that the person logging in is really the correct person to be doing so, you enter a password. If it's correct, then it's the correct person. Except sometimes it's not. Passwords run the security risk of being correct. Or like the extreme example quoted in the article, your password may be coerced out of you for one reason or another. What is suggested by the article is a system similar to a rhythm game. To log into something, you actually play a little rhythm game. Random notes aside, your password is actually 30 of the notes within the game itself. And the idea is this, by playing this game a couple of times, the portion that resembles your password is actually burnt into your memory. Of course, everything else is just fluff you don't actually consciously know the contents of that portion of the song or whatever it is that the rhythm game lets you play. And so this system becomes so secure that in fact even you don't know your password. You are instead judged on your performance within that rhythm game itself. Now this is a very interesting concept. I like how people are actually being so creative and trying to make things more secure. I personally didn't go into too much detail actually explaining this, so if you're interested to find out more about this, and I encourage you to do so, check out the link in the video description. You will actually see a mock-up of this game, as well as descriptions as to how it actually works. The next item we have today is actually a Kickstarter project. Now very briefly in case you don't know what Kickstarter is, it is basically if a group of people have an idea, but they need funding to actually create that project. What they can do is they can go to this site called Kickstarter. They can then advertise for their project and people will donate to actually back their project. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because what I'm about to show you is one of the more successful Kickstarter projects. In particular, I think they requested a few hundred thousand dollars in backing. However, within just the first few days of this project being published, the backing went up like crazy right now. As of filming, it is actually at five million. So what is this project and why is it taking the internet by storm? This project is called Oya and it is actually an open source game console. Designed to run the Android operating system, it is otherwise pretty much like your traditional console. Controller, going to console, going to TV. What I particularly like about this project is the fact that hacking this console is actually highly encouraged. It is after all part of the entire open source kind of mindset. So once again, the link to the Oya project is in the video description, go ahead and check it out. If you are interested, do give them a backing. With a $5 million backing, I'm pretty sure something's gonna happen from this project, and I'm very excited to see what shape it will take. So this next article actually put a smile on my face, and the reason for that is because one week ago, I actually reviewed some cheap earphones that I bought. This article actually did the same. No, not the same earphones, but the idea is they have actually found some very cheap earphones that they claim is pretty good. This one, however, is actually the in-ear type with the rubber, and they're saying it's 7 US dollars, which is very cheap for an in-ear earphones. So yeah, if you are into this kind of stuff, go ahead and hop over to the Lifehacker link and read about it for yourself. It actually looks kind of nice too, not your typical black colored, it's actually silvery. Now, there is this new trend in smartphones to actually include a little projector inside the phone. Now, I'm not entirely sure what market this is actually, you know, appealing to, but hey, I mean, well, it's a trend. This article I have for you outlines developments to such small size projectors. Apparently, existing projectors are only about 50% efficient, I believe with regard to power consumption. But this new one, apparently developed by some guys called NC State, 
is supposed to be over 90% efficient. So hopefully this means a lot more light output for the same amount of power consumed. While personally, I'm not that huge of a fan of actually having a projector in my phone, but I think it's a pretty cool idea. You know, the ability to be able to turn any wall into a display surface. So yeah, I'm quite excited to see what directions this will be going in. I hope not only will this make Pico projectors, that is those tiny ones you get in small devices, cheaper and more widespread. I also hope that this technology can in turn be applied to the actual, you know, proper projectors. I would love to see them becoming more efficient, um, possibly even have a price drop. Speaking of smartphones, I know not everyone has a smartphone just yet. So if you're interested in getting one, but you're not very sure which one to get, check out the Versus IO smartphone comparison. This is actually a website link highlighted by Lifehacker. And it is basically just an entire website dedicated to comparing phones. So there are these two boxes you can actually type in what two phones you want to compare and they will compare it point by point and in case you don't understand that actual comparison there is additional help text to actually break down the actual meaning and implications of that comparison to you I like how it goes into a huge amount of detail and I feel this is going to be very helpful to people who are actually you know scratching their heads over which phone to get so do check it out it looks really interesting and finally the last item for the day once again, speaking of smartphones, as you know from time to time I actually make a vlog regarding my phone and I'm not sure if I've actually mentioned this to you but Android's new operating system that is 4.1 Jelly Bean has actually been rolling out to some Galaxy Nexus devices but only a small proportion that is actually getting updates directly from Google. My phone unfortunately takes updates from Samsung instead of Google which is why I haven't been able to have a share in the Jelly Bean goodness. Well, I'm not one to be kept waiting. So what I did was I actually did some stuff to my phone and right now I have actually gotten it upgraded to Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean right here. Oh yeah. So yes, I am actually equipped with Jelly Bean. Um, this is very new. I think I've only gotten it for 12 hours or so. So I'm planning to actually spend these couple of days playing around with Jelly Bean and just trying to have a feel of how much improvements they are over 4.0 ice cream sandwich. So yeah, take this as a little teaser for the next Wednesday video where I actually go in depth regarding, well, what I had to do to get Jelly Bean onto my phone as well as what I think of the Jelly Bean experience. So stay tuned, that is coming on Wednesday. But yes, that's all there is for today's video. As always, if you have any comments, queries or suggestions, and especially if you have anything to share for the 30th week of Highlight Sundays, please do leave a comment in the comment section below. I'll do my best to read and reply to all comments you send me. Also, before you go, I'd just like to let you know that I appreciate every like, favorite and subscription that you give me. But yes, once again, that's all there is for today's episode of Highlight Sundays. Until next time, you are watching 0612 TV.